Hello. This is Natalie Allen, aka the Twisted Hatter. Um, I'm looking a hot mess right now, so we're gonna pretend this is me. Hello. Um, today I'm gonna be showing you how I like to shade on hats or crocheted items. Now everybody has their own personal preference of how they shade, what they use to shade. Um, for me, this is what I like to use. It's a fabric ink paint, so it doesn't wash off. You can also use eyeshadow, which a lot of people do use. However, if you want to wash the item at any point, it is most likely going to come off. Uh, people also use acrylic paint, which probably won't wash off, but it will make the item crunchy, and I don't like to wear crunchy. I like to eat it. So I'm going to show you, this is one I've already finished, and I'm showing you this one because I did the brown paint on this, and the other one that I'll be showing you, I'm not using brown paint because I didn't like it with the color but for this one I started off with the base of brown just to kind of dirty up the whole thing everywhere and then I went back around with the black just kind of around the edges or to show like kind of make the rest of it pop it just gives it a little extra depth everywhere the more you put on there, the dirtier it looks, and I did want it to kind of look dirty, although this one kind of resembles a rotten banana to me, but I still like it. So this is the one that we'll be working on today. And I did start off with a base coat of black because I do like to go on the hat first before I sew the items on. That way I don't have to try to get into the nooks and crannies underneath the items I sewed on. And then after everything is sewn on, then I go back around and kind of add all the extras just so I know like, cause if you're shading underneath a piece, it's pointless work and I don't like pointless work. So today we're gonna be using the black fabric ink just a cheap crappy paintbrush and then a plate any type you like I don't know if it makes a difference if you use a fancy brush or a crappy brush and it's always helpful to have a cup of coffee because coffee is life so what you want to do is dip the paintbrush in the paint and then you want to rub most of it off just because if you just load your paintbrush and shove it on there it's going to be a glob now i like to shade around the edges of everything so you start off with a very light pressure on the edge and then once you notice like a lot of the paint coming off already then you can go back or you work a little further in and you can rub harder just to add the lighter shading. And you can do as much or as little shading as you want. It's really a personal preference thing. Sometimes you're going for kind of a dirty look, and then other times it's just to make little things pop on your item. Like if you're doing an amigurumi or anything like that, like doing the cheeks or whatever. That one you don't want to do a solid pressure on anything because then it looks a little crazy. And I probably should have mentioned this at the beginning, but if you haven't shaded on crochet work before... I highly suggest making a crocheted swatch first and then practicing on that. That way you get the basic idea of how much pressure 
you need to put on your piece before you go and work on like an actual finished item. If you're used to painting on a canvas or paper or anything, crochet work is considerably different because it's not a smooth surface. So it does take a little bit of getting used to, at least for the first time, I would definitely suggest just kind of spending that extra time making a little piece of something and then practicing on that. The first time I ever attempted to paint on something, it took me about two hours to touch the paintbrush to my item because I was so terrified I'd have to remake the entire hat again. Now when shading on something like this and you're wanting it to look not crazy but you know just a bit out there um, it's okay if you mess up a little bit because you kind of want it to look a bit kooky anyway. The one thing you don't want to do is glob the paint on there and not rub it off and then just shove it on there because that's going to end up not looking right. Just kind of rub all around there. And then for me, like with this particular hat, I like to shade all around just the edges of everything. Like I leave this one part, like the little parts that are sticking out, I leave those as is. And I didn't rub enough paint off there. So then if you do that, just push a little bit harder and it will kind of blend it in a bit. Don't pay attention to my funky fingernails. I spend all my money on backdrops, yarn, and tutus. Not on my fingernails. And normally I don't use a spinny thing or anything like that. It's just trying to get it to turn for the video. Now I'm by no means a professional at this. So if you actually know what you're doing on this kind of stuff, feel free to do it that way. I've just had a couple people like ask, I don't really understand what you mean by dip the paintbrush in the paint and then rub it off. So I figured a visual would be a little easier. And for me, when I work on like hats or anything like that, I get like a base of like I'll shade around all the corners and everything. And then after I finish that, I normally go back and then just add extra shading in spots. So I'll just show you here since that's kind of empty right there. So when you load your paintbrush first, since you don't want to have like the dark spot in the middle unless that's what you're going for, just kind of start off 
on the inside and then when you notice some of the paint coming off of the brush already so it's getting a little less then you can rub it a little harder on there so it just adds like a very light shading but still noticeable on there and that's how you'll get a little lighter spots It's really up to you, like how much you want to do anywhere. I'll normally go, especially for this hat, go around the edges, just everywhere, kind of shove it inside. But hopefully this helped out somewhat explain things. Nothing fancy, not a fancy video or anything, just to give you a basic idea of what I do. Have a great day.